Hi, I am the Lone Guru. Today I'll be showing you how to make a USB fan. Today the air conditioner was not working at the office, so one of my co-workers was really thinking about buying one of these USB fans that they sell online, but then I told him, wait, you can make it yourself. So now I'll show how to do it with basically no money and in just a few minutes. I found this old PC power supply unit and I'll be taking the fan out of it here. So I will basically have the fan for no money. You can find this everywhere basically because once they stop working, the, they have to be replaced and basically, basically the old unit is thrown away. But in most cases, the fan is still working. If you know anyone that works with computers, you can get one of these by just asking. So I'm taking the screws from the top, removing this here is my fan. It has a couple of more screws. And then it has uh, it has two wires, cut it so it's free. And that will be my fan. I have one of these USB extensions. I think I'll just use this one for the USB port. You see, it's a, a regular USB extension. Uh, I'll just have cut the cable. The USB cables have four wires. You're supposed to have a color code and you should be able to find one that's black and another one that's red. And that would match the black and red cables from the fan. But this one is a, like a cheap cable that I bought who knows where and doesn't even respect the color code. So I'll have to find out what which cable belongs to which uh, pin of the USB port. Pin one, it's supposed to be the the positive, and pin four is supposed to be the negative. To know which color which cable goes with which pin, I'll just use my electronic tester set to test continuity. It will tell me whenever there's an electrical path between two pieces of metal, which pin goes where. I'm guessing that the black cable here goes with pin 4 and yes it does and now I'll be checking which of the other cables goes with pin 1 that one it's the yellow one I can take these other cables that I will not be using I'll just cut them to avoid short circuits Because I want to give this a more professional look, I'll be using heat shrink tubing. So I'll just put the tubing here before I connect the cables. Okay, now I'll connect the cables black to black, and in my case, red to yellow because I don't have a red one, but still, this is the one that goes with pin one. Now I will solder the cable just to make it more durable. I will isolate with plastic tape. I am isolating one of the cables and with the remaining piece of tape I'll just wrap around the other one. Now I can take the heat shrinking tube and put it over the section where the soldering happened. And with some fire this will shrink. and we'll be giving it a more professional look and of course it will be much better protected okay that's it now i have to connect this to usb and test it here i have a computer with usb let's see how it goes i'll connect to the usb and there we go i have a fan well, the strength of the fan is a little bit disappointing. I have to put it like right here before I can feel any of the air blowing. But still, it works. I'm the one who, how I say.